the whole thing wobbing. definitely have some big Madden 24 news to go over as well as some other things to cover but the big news it's not a good thing I do want to give a shout out to Steve Fix for being a part of the Nota gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are subs to the channel turn notifications below and comment down below Nota gang also guys make that two weeks in a row now that we have dominated with the UFC picks I tweeted this out Tatiana Suarez did in fact get a submission win so if you guys got my UFC picks that is two weeks in a row with a W there we also do have NBA season long projections now available as well as the NFL season long projections and I will be running more and more private drafts as we get closer to the nfl regular season so if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars follow me over on twitter for my picks and to get in on those private drafts versus me and as well make sure you guys enter my giveaway i'm running right now for five copies of the deluxe edition of madden 24 that link is down below in the comment section all you guys have to do is retweet that tweet follow me over on twitter and comment down below on the tweet zerk luck taking winners on august 13th all right so first up we're going to talk about the very very big news around madden 24 and unfortunately so like i said this is not uh good news sadly so as you guys can see right here this is actually madden 23 and i'll explain why i'm showcasing this for you guys i was actually preparing either today or tomorrow to do a video talking about the new zealand method for those of you guys that don't know what the new zealand method is it is actually a way to play new games that are dropping. I do this every single year with 2K. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work this year with 2K. I do this every single year with Madden, so I'm able to get on very, very early in the morning and record videos and drop them before it's actually out, you know, in the United States. Essentially, what you do is on Xbox, you would change your location to New Zealand. Now, by doing that, you want to keep your time zone the same, but you want to change your location to New Zealand, but that essentially would tell, you know, Xbox, hey, this person's in New Zealand, and they are 16 hours ahead of U.S. Eastern Standard Time. So what does that mean? You get to play 16 hours sooner than somebody in Eastern Standard Time. So as you guys can see, this was the deluxe edition of Madden 23 last year. It came out at midnight, uh, you can see on August 16th. By changing your location to New Zealand, you can see right here, it then allowed you to hop on August 15th at 8 a.m. Eastern and this worked i did this last year that's how i was able to actually have a bunch of videos out super early in the morning on august 15th was because i set my location to new zealand and i was able to log in at 8 a.m and i could play now the reason why i say this news i have for you guys today is not good unfortunately so you guys can see i have changed my location to new zealand currently i still have my time zone set to eastern standard time as you guys can see august 14th at 20 hours which of course is 8 p.m eastern so unfortunately new zealand does not work this year it seems like ea has decided which you know we kind of thought this could be something that would happen this year uh, i did talk about this actually in my video that i made i think it was like last week when we saw that now on xbox it was showing at august 14th 8 p.m Eastern time i said perhaps that's actually a worldwide release and ea was changing it from midnight to 8 p.m and it looks like that's the case it does look like guys that 8 p.m eastern time on august 14th is going to be the worldwide launch now could it be possibly sooner than that i will say this ea every single year they love to drop things a little bit early right maybe even with the uh, ea access trial now currently the trial if you go to like ea's website says it'll be august 15th and ea still is currently advertising as though this game with the deluxe edition is dropping on august 15th but now it's showing everywhere 8 p.m eastern time uh on august 14th so it could just be dropping on 8 p.m or at 8 p.m on august 14th or it could even be dropping slightly earlier than that at some point during the day whether that be through the deluxe edition or with the ea access trial i would not be surprised at all if on august 14th at like 10 a.m noon 2 p.m whatever we were able to log in and actually play madden 24 but unfortunately so new zealand time will not work which really really sucks because that would have made us actually able to play at 4 a.m eastern on august 14th looks like ea didn't want that happening this year i know that is very very unfortunate right there but now i want to talk to you guys about what we should be seeing i think starting tomorrow as you guys can see right here this is actually from last year this is not from this year but i just want to kind of make this known as you guys can see the expected content schedule for last year when the mutt rating started to get revealed august 1st 
was the very first reveals of madden ultimate team overalls we had the top 10 running backs then the next day then the next day you guys can see everything they kind of pushed out right now why am i showcasing this well that's because ea as of right now is kind of behind right today is august 6th tomorrow is going to be august 7th that would put them at six days late now you might say well maybe madden 20 you know 23 released a little bit earlier no it actually released later because as I showcase for you guys, the Deluxe Edition of Madden 23 came out on August 16th. The Deluxe Edition of Madden 24 is currently set for the 14th, which is actually two days sooner. And currently we are going to be six days late. I don't expect them to be doing any sort of reveals today. But what I will tell you guys is I fully expect hopefully anyways that tomorrow will start the madden ultimate team reveals now they did tweet that out last year on sunday at 7 p.m eastern time the day before they started doing all the reveals starting on monday which again if they do it that way that means that at some point today or tonight ea could possibly tweet out a content schedule showcasing that they are going to be going over ultimate team reveals which if they do make sure you guys follow me over on twitter i will likely upload maybe a video over here or a short over here but i most certainly will be talking about it over on twitter and we can hope that ea will be showcasing reveals from madden ultimate team on this upcoming week right we have madden 24 coming out very very soon and as you guys can see this is kind of how they did it they showcased you know the top 10 and the stats as well here was derrick henry uh right there jonathan taylor was an 87 overall nick chubb was an 86 overall dalvin cook and we had the whole top 10 and then throughout the rest of the week they showcased them and then eventually we ended up getting the database also not only do we still need all of the core elite reveals but we don't even know the stats yet on the rookie premiere players which is another thing that we kind of need to see before the game drops so we could see maybe ea start off with the rookie premiere player reveals and then hop into the core elites I don't really know how they're going to go about it, but we already know they're 84 overalls, but I just want to see some stats on them, man. And that special stream that was actually there as well on that Thursday, yeah, they showcased the headliners release one, the Mutt team captains, and then also the top 10 quarterback rankings as well. It was a very, very big stream. So this upcoming week, guys, could be absolutely massive. Uh, we are closing in very, very soon on Madden 24, and we still don't really have pretty much any overalls to kind of base stats off of all we have are like the ak players the aiden hutchinson and i think that's about it oh and the uh, hall of fame players as well so that's literally it we need to get those correlate reveals and i fully expect them to start tomorrow at least that's the hope so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know what you guys think about the new zealand thing not working this year do you actually like that it's not working was it too big of a hassle to go ahead and do that on xbox i know playstation was actually uh, much much harder to actually do so uh let me know down below hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these